Good evening. I am Sudarshan Sukhani and today is Wednesday, 14 September 2022. We are going to talk about the Nifty Blue for tomorrow, that is Thursday, 15 September. Thursday is important for two days. First, 15 September is your advanced tax payment date in case you are going to pay advanced tax. And it is also the day when th it's Thursday, so weekly derivatives will expire tomorrow. Uh, first, I need to give you a clarification. We are talking about the Nifty. We are not giving any, we are not discussing any derivatives instruments. We are not discussing any buying and selling ideas. All I am doing is to share the way I look at the Nifty, how I analyze the Nifty and share it with you. So please understand that this video does not represent any kind of suggestions for buying or selling. It's not meant to do that. I am not competent to do that. And you should not take it as that, like that. If you ever want to do any trading, Please consult your investment advisor and understand that derivatives trading has large losses and requires even larger capital. So be very careful about it and please understand this clarification clearly. Now we come to the Nifty. Yeah, today was a day of surprises. After that big decline expected uh, in the morning uh, on the TV, it was SGX is below 800, 770, whatever, whatever, whatever. It took about 10 seconds for the Nifty to <laughs> start going up. Now, uh, all of you know what happened. The market uh, came down and after 10 seconds of declines, it started going up and then it went up throughout the day. Actually, it's some, at the end of the day, it even for a few time moments, turned into the green. That's the nifty. The bank nifty turned into the green much earlier and then never looked back. I'm laughing because the market surprises us all the time. So how do we uh, face such markets? By being relaxed. And how, do, how are we relaxed? By not over trading. If I were having thousands and thousands of positions in the yesterday or today, I would not be laughing. Uh, that's the key is do not over trade. If you have the capability and the capital to trade, let us say 100 contracts, then what should you do? You should trade, trade 20 contracts maximum. And then you will also laugh and you will enjoy trading. And not only will you enjoy trading, you might actually make money in trading. And that would be higher than the interest rate on the banks. But if you are over trading, I can guarantee you that your capital will be wiped off. It's only a question of when it will be wiped off. I'm getting diverted today, but sometimes it happens. Now, to what is tomorrow going to be? I'm not the faintest idea. Markets have become volatile. You know, the buying that occurred today uh, gives us two messages. First, there are very strong buyers in the market. That was obvious. So there's another invisible message. Volatility is increasing. Normally, when volatility increases, it's not good for the bulls. So maybe the markets may be heading towards some kind of a process of consolidation. Maybe. So I, it's very difficult for me to understand what tomorrow will do. Uh, uh, the best, I think, trade for me would be to let volatility subside, whether it takes one day or two days or five days, there's no rush. Of course, there will be some trades, minor trades, one way or the other for me also, but nothing big. Once volatility comes down and then the market gives a message, uh, it's going up or going down, that will be the time when bigger trades will be taken. This has become a long video, sorry about that. If you enjoy these uh, videos, please, please give your comments. Jai Hind.